dummy. Why'd you just stand there and take it? Weirdo. <laughs> the softies are gonna get mad that I called him a weirdo. What is up, YouTube? This is Apex27 bringing you the official ninja build after quite a long time. So we're level 200 with 60 vigor, 20 mind, 20 endurance, 11 strength, 75 dexterity, 72 intelligence, and base faith in arcane for the profit class. I will say that uh, I am trying this build out on a suboptimal starting class. You can probably get a better stat allocation with the astrologer or the samurai or even the vagabond maybe this is just for testing i'm going to bring the actual ninja build up but it's only at level 75 and i didn't want to do that until i was sure i wanted to bring it up you're you're you could probably get like 80 intelligence or 80 dexterity and some extra intelligence on the side uh, or uh, extra mind extra endurance extra strength doesn't matter to me what you do with it but you would you'd be able to have a, a bunch of like like five to eight extra stat points uh, I have those two spells, Comet Night Shard, Night Comet, Night Comet, and the Twin Moon Sorcery from Merlana. We have the plus 10 Sword of Night, plus 24 Bone Bow, plus 9 Carry and Regal Scepter, and the Marred Leather Shield. I'll eventually bring those up to max level. Everything in the video will be with the current setup. The Black Hood, the Allier's Garb, Traveler's Manchettes and Tolier's Trousers. I realized how to say his name halfway through the thing. Dagger Talisman, Rotten Wing, Sword Insignia, Millicent's Prosthesis, and Shard of Alexander. Uh, I, in some of the clips, I have Godfrey's Icon because I wanted to get the charge on my R2s, but the L2 only true combos into the R2 if the R2 isn't charged fully. And that's like the main focus of this build is getting that true combo off. And finally, I have the Dexterity Not Crystal tier and the Magic Shrouding Crack tier. Some of these clips have the wrong tiers because I was focusing on different stuff. Uh, like I had Fire Shrouding Crack tier for the Catch Flame that I wanted to use. And I also forgot to mention that I had the this staff, Staff of the Great Beyond, for Catch Flame with the sorceries that I have now. And I just realized I wasn't using Catch Flame very much and I needed to reallocate my stats and get rid of this and pick up the Karian Regal Scepter. Let's get back to the clips. What is up, YouTube? This is Apex27, bringing you the official ninja build once again. Uh, I've made a couple builds with the ninja before this. The previous build had the Claws of Night. I did not go get those on this version of the build. You can still add them. They would be similar. But I just had too much going on with this build. This version of the build. As you can see, I uh, opened with the Bone Bow. That's a really nice thing to add to pretty much any build. And as you can see here, Sword and Knight still doing its thing. That true combo, the L2 into the uncharged R2. Very strong, especially with the multi-hit talismans. I would have the Thorned Crack tier to add to that damage. But I already kill a lot of phantoms and hosts with just what I have now. And I didn't feel like going to the Consecrated Snowfield to go grab it. I also think it would be way too easy. I would probably just true combo everyone to death. And that's no fun in my opinion. So... You can add the Thorny Crack tier to your build if you want to, but we're not worried about that right now. As you can see here, you can catch multiple people into the AoE, and uh, some of them don't even need to be true comboed to die. <laughs> uh, like I was saying, Thorn Crack tier would be way too strong in my opinion. That's just me though. I don't get to use the Twinned Moon Sorcery too much in this video. I don't think I really get to use it at all. So I'll talk about it now. It's really good for going around corners. You can be knocked out of it. So it's best to be used with the element of surprise. 
someone chasing you around a corner, you run around the corner where they can't see you, and then you throw it out. Uh, most people will get hit by the first or the second and then dodge the third. Also, Night Comet, or Night Shard, I can't remember what it's called, this spell that just happened and used to kill the host. Really nice to have on hand. Any of those, you know, wizard lasers are always good to have. Mainly the ones that aren't the tiny ones, the like mid-level ones that you can charge up, I think. And then finally, this is going to be the last clip that I have commentary over. The next four clips, I think it's four clips after this, will have commentary. So uh, I'm just going to talk about the future, I guess. First of all, do me a favor. If you like the video, if you liked any of my other videos, you've seen my other builds, uh, and like me and what I do, consider subscribing. Consider giving a video a like. Uh, maybe leave a comment about, you know, what your favorite weapon is from the DLC or what your favorite new build is or something you really wish that would have been in the DLC. That'd be really cool. I'll read the comments and I'll reply back. I usually do. Or I'll at least give it a like, unless it's something negative, and then I'll probably just ignore it or I'll answer back if I feel like I need to. The next build video that I'm probably going to do is either going to be the Mad Spectre, which is going to be a mixture of Miriam's Vanishing and Unescapable Frenzy with the other Frenzy spells. Maybe the new Frenzy weapons. Uh, definitely the new Frenzy Torch. I know they nerfed it, but I still want to use it. I think that'd be cool. Uh, and if, if it's not, And if it's not the Mad Spectre next, it'll probably be my Artificer build. They got the new Rabbith's Cannon and all the Smith Script weapons, and I'm thinking about adding a couple other fun things to that build that I feel like would make sense in the canon of my characters and the goofy little universe I've put together <laughs> with my characters. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and adios for now. Weirdo. Fuck off. Go to hell, solo host. Fuck all solo hosts forever. <clears throat> Every single fucking solo host. They're already blocked, by the way. Cool.
<laughs> cool. Dope. <laughs> nice. Okay, all right. Bro, it's insane. It's a little insane. Sucks, doesn't it? It's annoying, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it crazy how annoying that is? Hey, bud. Go ahead. Okay, cool. That was one of the funny friends they have. Let's do the five of those. Why are you shaming? This is already playing with Ah, fucking dragon, I'm trying to help you out, bud. Bro, dragon, dragon, I'm trying to help you, bro. Alright, cool. <laughs> Is that a blue? <laughs> That's too bad, blue. Oh, good. Good. Dumb bitch. Oh, you weren't real. You're bad, dude. Of course you had to pull out the fucking Sword of Damnation. Of course you had to pull out the Sword of Damnation, bro. It's your only hope. It's your only hope. Oh, and he's got Bloodhound Step. What a loser, dude. Dummy, big fucking dummy, big motherfucking dummy, big dumbass motherfucking dummy, fucking Pata's, fucking Bloodhound Step, fucking Sword of Damnation, buddy shooting with the Rabbit's Cannon, fuck you.